Hey guys, Toxic here. This is the first episode of my Let's Play Blood Bowl. For, you, for those of you who do not know, Blood Bowl is a game that was originally made by Games Workshop for the tabletop. And it is based in, I believe, an alternate universe to the Warhammer Fantasy, where the armies do not fight each other. Instead, they partake in Blood Bowl to settle their disputes. Blood Bowl is a game similar to American football, with a little bit of rugby thrown in there too. It's a turn-based game. It's a mixture of strategy and luck. And I don't really know how to play. So that's going to be fun. So I've made my team, as you can see, they're the Toxic Tiny Tots, they're Chaos Dwarfs. I'm, do I'm, I'm doing a campaign in this, so the idea is you go around competing in tournaments and you have to, you know, find your way to the, the best tournament, basically. Now, when you make your team, you get X amount of money. So I have... With that money, you buy players and things like re-rolls and apothecaries. So I'm going to go over you what I've done with my team. I haven't negotiated with any sponsors yet because I still don't really understand how that works. I might might add it in. So I brought three re-rolls. Now a re-roll is basically what it says. You get a re-roll, a dice roll, and you get... I have three, which means I get three each half of the game. So that's six all together. An apothecary get, lets you to re-roll the injury result on one of your players. I usually like to have one because players can die. And when a player dies, he is gone. And if he is an expensive player, that hurts. Cheerleaders and assistant coaches. Well, they are good, but I don't think they're good when I'm just starting to build a team. They affect the kickoff events. Now a kickoff event is, you'll see them when I start playing, but basically a kickoff event is at the start of the game, you kick off obviously, and an event is, I think, rolled on a table, uh, and then based on, you know, your fan factor, your cheerleaders, your assistant coach, a different result will happen for each team, and this could be things like getting more re-rolls, being able to redeploy your, uh, your team and your players, so I didn't get any of them yet, um, because the apothecaries and the re-rolls, I figured that would be the most important thing. I had some change left over, so I upgraded my team um, fan factor to 3. Mostly because I think you get more money for having more fan factor, and I had the money left over, so that was my thinking there. Now, we're going to have a look at my team. Now, I'd like to say before we look at my team, that the names that I made, I've been playing with these names since I started playing my Chaos Dwarf, Chaos Dwarf team uh, a few weeks ago, so they're odd, and I didn't really know what I was doing, I just started adding just names that kept flying in my head. So we'll have a look. So there we go. We have four Hobgoblins, and their names are Zorpal, Snorkel, Golf Ball, and Lemon Trout. We have six Chaos Dwarf Blockers. Their names are Flippy, Sippy, Dolan, Twomp, Jamarcus, Joshua, and Rob. I have one Bull Centaur. I love Bull Centaurs. Favorite player in my team. And his name is Bubba Gump. Now, that is my team. 11 players. I have no backups. If a guy gets injured, that sucks for me. And I can display my team down here. There you go, that's my team. Now, I have just entered the Clean Cup. The Clean Cup is the first tournament that you enter on a campaign. Basically the beginner's tournament. Let's find out how I do. So this is basically was the first episode, just to explain what's going on. The next episode will be uh, just what I have, uh, what, what I, you know, the next episode will be the game, and it'll probably be about one, two turns per, uh, 
per episode. I think it works out to be about five episodes as a game. So we'll see how we go. So uh, I hope I hope uh, I explained everything again. I don't really know much about this game. I didn't play the tabletop. I have been playing this game off and on for well ever since it came out in 2007. Now that seems like a long time, but I suck at the game. I play it for a little bit, and I realize how bad I am, so I quit. However, I recently started playing again, and I'm actually starting to figure things out a bit more. So that's why I figured, you know what, let's do a let's play. So there we go, that is my first episode, and the next episode, we'll start a game. Hope you enjoyed guys, thanks for watching, this has been Toxic. Have a good one.